Welcome to another exciting ICC auto pairing. So test Viking at 2327. Okay, he's going into is it a Banco Gambit? I'll play the B6 counter gambit, which sometimes I've done well in. So I'm trying to get this knight to C4. Let's get a tempo on that queen. And I'm going to try and stamp um, b6 control. Although knight c7 to b5 is dangerous, so I'm going to leave the pawn on a4 for a moment because the knight coming to d4 can be a total pain actually. So I'm leaving that pawn on a4 for a moment. I think I can play sort of f4, bishop f3. It's, okay, it's a bit, he's a bit uncompromising, weakening his uh, light squares potentially. Play queen c2 just to protect. Well, I've got b2 protected already. I want to try and maybe go through the center with f, f4. Looks as I'm going to give up the e5 square. Is that worth actually doing? <clears throat> I think it may be just about. Uh, Check. Hmm, I can get to play hmm, rook d1 and e5. I think e5, well, this takes check. I think e5 is plausible here. G takes, maybe taking first, and then rook f5. e5, g takes. Well, there's e takes, then f takes. Actually, let's just put a rook here to see if I can make e5 more effective. I'm not entirely sure. Let's look at some forcing sequences to see if there's any vulnerabilities here uh, in Black's position. Like F G and Rook F five, he would be able to defend with say F six and seal the E five square. I think that's the main my main strategic concern is Black getting that E five square. Now here, okay, you can win D five if I play E five. Hmm, is that a big deal? I can take take on d6 fg then knight d6. I think that doesn't seem so bad. At least initially. Takes, takes, takes. Okay, well I'm opening up the f file. Okay, so I don't think e6 here. Knight takes, queen takes. Is there anything better? Knight e4. Knight e4 might be plausible. And then something like h4. <clears throat> Knight takes, queen takes, b3 for bishop f3. I think mean, that's plausible as well, so I might try that. If I can play b3 and then bishop f3. Just to hold the c4. Knight, if queen d5, I can't play bishop f3. Okay, that's not an issue. Now, the way that's been played. This f file, am I doing something with it? If I try and weaken uh, the king's side here. There's like a rook f6, forcing move. Doesn't really do much. This h file could backfire on onto me. So, for the moment, what about just bishop? Trying to sort of get onto the light squares or something. Hmm. Queen e2 to h5. I mean that that has got something going for it to get the queen up here. Queen e2 or queen e4, rook h8. F7 seems solid enough. There's bishop g4 there. There's queen e4 though. Bishop g4, queen e4. Then what? Just rook here, yeah. There's rook f7 for queen g6 as a forcing move. Rook f7, queen g6. That looks pretty dangerous. 
people will go for one. There's knight f4, bishop f4. I think that's pretty Check. dangerous actually. I think I'm going to go for it. Check. Check. This f file just looks. Oh, I thought it was dangerous. Okay, knight d6 here. Threatening mate. E takes, e takes. Or rook f6 takes, takes, takes. Oh, the c4 square is covered. But e takes for bishop d6. Bishop d6. Let's try and break through. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> so I'm threatening queen g7. Surely he has to play bishop f6. Bishop d6 is a dangerous pin. What would he do? Or even just taking in bishop d6? Isn't that even more clear cut? <coughs> Rook takes bishop d6. I have to give up the queen. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So e5, that's why that's played. Okay. Knight takes e5, looks strong. Just to blast that bishop on that diagonal. It looks strong. I can't see is there anything can't see much else. Mind you bishop takes rook c4, bishop c4, then bishop e5. So I think knight takes e5. My queen's actually holding the bishop at the moment. So is this pawn gonna be good enough? Mind you, h4 is gonna be vulnerable. Potentially, I think that Queen G7. This pawn's a bit vulnerable, but Queen G7 looks to be on the cards. If Rook G8, Queen H6, check. It's the last move. And Queen H7 after trying to pick material up, or F7. This looks devastating. Check. Right, it looks devastating, is it? He takes on e5. There's f7. Is it anything stronger? What is f7 straight off the bat? Look e5. Then my queen. I think f7 straight off the bat gives me. Gives me what? There's bishop f5 here actually. Trying to win win the queen. If I just play bishop f5. Check. That looks pretty clear cut. Just trying to win the queen. I assume he's gonna take. Check. The queen's hanging. Check. Okay, he's got rook h4. He's resigned here. Yeah, that was a fun, a fun one. Let's have a quick look. Uh, so this this looked like a good, good system. I'm glad I didn't play a5. Usually get in trouble knight b5 maneuver. So I cut that out. F4 is a little bit controversial though, but I think surely. Okay, the Check. engine doesn't seem to think it's controversial with the E5 square. Hang on, what's this? F takes G5. Oh, Queen D2. And now E5. This looks as though the engine likes this. Takes. Check. takes. What's? I wonder what the um, the actual threat is here. What, what's actually going on? Okay, anyway, so that's it didn't seem that I don't know. Mind you, it appears to be better than this continuation. It doesn't like this when I played. Ah, now this is strong queen e4. And it likes rook f7. It Check. actually likes this tactic. Check. This is Check. quite Good tactic, apparently. Now, if he had played bishop takes, I think bishop d6. Yes, bishop d6. That's that's a forced mate, apparently. So, 
Yeah, I think he was in big trouble here. 95, I think that's correct. If I had played bishop takes e5. Oh, it's still okay. I think rook takes c4, there's queen g7. Okay. So it was a good position here anyway. Check. Check. If I'm bishop f5, yeah, that's that's a good move, bishop Check. f5. If I had just taken the Check. thing here, I think this is okay as well. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. I did. <laughs> Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.